Worlds on Calendar for Beginners. Hello everybody, in this video I'll be showing you step by step how to use Proton Calendar for beginners, it is super easy to do. So the first thing you need to do is open up your browser like you usually would. Then for me you need to go up to the search bar and click on proton.me slash mail or calendar. You'll get this page without no matter what. Then from here you can see here that you'll have the option to create a free account, you can get mail for business, you can get Proton Mail by downloading it, or you can sign into your already existing Proton account. Definitely, we'll need to create a free account, and that is super easy to do. So you need to create a free account right here. Then from here, you need to select the language that you want to add in the specific Proton calendar or mail. Then from here, you need to select your plan, and you can either select the free plan over here where you get up to one gigabyte mail storage or one email address. You also here get the Mail Plus for 4 euros, Proton Unlimited for 10 euros, or Proton Family for 24 euros per month. Then from here, you'll just select the free version and create your Proton account down here. You'll need to enter your username, so let's just create that. Here you can also change the ads with ProtonMe or ProtonMail.com. You can also change the domain name if you want to do that in your inside of Proton accounts. Definitely you need to add in the password and it needs to be 12 characters long, at least have other cases, numbers and symbols. And then from here, you simply need to click start using Proton Mail now and click no thanks. Then you need to add in your capture like so, click next. And from here, Proton will create your account. Then from here, you will also add in a recovery kit that you can download or copy into text if you want to do that. You'll need to also mark over that you understand that if I lose this recovery phrase, I may permanently lose access to your account. Then from here, you need to click continue and add in your display name. Then from here, you should be doing something like this. Let's get started and click maybe later to download the Proton app, click next and use this. Then from here, the Proton mail will pop up. But if I want to switch it over to Proton Calendar, how do you do that? And that is super simple to do. You need to go up to Proton Mail up here and click on these four dots over here, where you see all of Proton's products, like the calendar function over here. When you click on the calendar function, a new tab will pop up with Proton Calendar. And this is how Proton Calendar will look like. And let's take a view of how it's gonna look like. Over here on the left hand side, you'll see a new event over here. And this is where you will add in new meetings and everything like that. You'll see the month over here, like the year. And you can switch that by either clicking on next month or previous month over here. You'll also see the weeks, you will see the weekdays over here. And you can select it by clicking on this over here. Down here, you'll also see your calendars where you can add a new calendar, delete new calendar, and manage calendar down here. Up here, you'll see the search bar up here, where you can search for a specific meeting or event that you have previously had inside of Proton Calendar. You'll have the option to change your time zone, where you can select your specific time zone if you want to do that. And over here, you can change the time range with day, week, or month. You'll also be able to add the upgrade and upgrade it to a new plan and go over to the settings tab over here. So let's quickly look how the settings tab is gonna look like. And here you can see all settings, get the pros on calendar app. You can add the default view. You can add the week start. You can show week numbers if you want to do that. You can add the time zones. Also add a secondary time zone if you want to do that. You can add the keyboard shortcuts if you want to do that. And you can add or change the theme of the Proton calendar to either this one or dark mode or any of these other ones over here. You can also sync with system if you want to do that. Down here, you'll also be able to set a recovery phrase if you want to do that and enable desktop notifications down here and clear browser data. Now, let me show you how to add a meeting or event inside of Proton Calendar. And there's two ways to do this. The first way is to go up to new event up here, and then this page will be popping up. Or you can add a specific time over here by holding down and just drag it until your meeting or event will stop. Definitely, you'll see you can add in the title, you can add the specific time of day that you have set, 
Uh, or you can also choose all day if you want to do that. Down here, you can also add whether or not it should repeat by either every day, every weekday, every week, every month, every month on the second every year or custom down here you can also select whether or not it should be added to which calendar that you have and you can change the color of said events down here you can also add the participants and you can add them by adding in their mail accounts and down here you can also add a location either addresses or a specific meeting room inside of your workplace you can also down here add zoom meeting where proton will generate a zoom meeting for you and you can go down into the Zoom meeting and make your meeting. You can also add a description down here if you want to do that. And then click save like so. And then it's going to look like this. And if you want to delete it, you simply need to right click on it and click delete right here. Delete like so. so let me show you how to create a calendar. And then it's also super easy to do. So the thing you need to do is go up to the left hand menu and go over to this add calendar where you'll have the option to create calendar add public holidays or add a calendar for url so let's create a calendar and here you can add in the calendar name call it test for this example you can change the color to all of these specific colors over here you can add in the mail address or you can also change that if you want to do that you can add in a description a event duration a event notification where you can select either notification or email and you can change it from minutes before to at time of event hours before days before weeks before you can also add notifications down here if you want to add several notifications for the specific calendar. Down here you can do the exact same thing with all day meetings with notifications, emails, set days before, hours before, and the specific time of date. Then from here you'll need to click save like so. And as you can see over here, now it has been created. And you can deal edit it or delete it by going over to these three dots called manage calendar and edit over here import events or more options so now let's me show you how to import your gmail outlook or any other calendar into proton calendar and that is also super easy to do so the first step you need to do is go up to the settings tab up here and then click all settings then from here you'll see this page right here and from here you need to go down to import via easy switch and here you'll have the option to add one-time import where you can import from google yahoo outlook or import from another where you'll need to select the imap and post it onto proton for this tutorial i'm just going to use a google and then from here you can select whether or not it should be the emails the contacts or the calendar function that you need to click start import and then click continue now you'll need to log into your account and click continue down here but from here you need to click continue again and then you can see it's gathering your data where you can select start importing. And then you can see import has been in progress. And you can see that importing your data from this to this, and they will mail you once the importation is complete. You can also see down here with the history that it has started and it will say finished when they are done. Well, that's really how you do it. If you have any questions about it, please leave them down in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them as quickly as possible. See ya.